Mercer and Warren reteamed in 1946 for the MGM musical extravaganza, The Harvey Girls, and wrote their first Oscar winning hit, On the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. When I'm old and gray. was smitten with Judy Garland. Just a hopeless situation. Both were married. We've all had hopeless arrangements. That was one of them, between one of the great songwriters and one of the great actresses and, and singers. Johnny just thought she was so darling and wonderful and just couldn't get over her. The night of the big party that MGM gave them for a wedding present, they had a huge celebrity party at the Coconut Grove and she was dancing with her bridegroom and Johnny got up enough courage to go up and cut in. She said, well, we're both in the same lot. You can come and have lunch with me tomorrow. Johnny wrote a lyric for Judy. It wasn't for Judy to sing. It was a, it was a popular song. It was called I Remember You. I remember you You're the one who made my dreams come true oh, The day after sharing a dance at Garland's wedding party, the two met for a very private lunch in her dressing room. I remember you You're the one who said He's walking around like a teenager in love. Ginger certainly didn't appreciate it. A Mercer family friend attempted to nip the affair in the bud. She got in a cab and went out to MGM and marched into Judy's dressing room and said, this has got to stop, it's terrible, you don't know what havoc you're wreaking. Judy agreed, she said, you're right, it's, it's uh, not going anywhere. I remember you. That is is a condensation of uh, of a falling in love two minutes ago, right up till the end of his life. Their feelings for each other would last a lifetime, and they played out their passion when opportunity would allow. For some three decades, their love and intimacy drove him to write some of his deepest and most profoundly emotional lyrics about love and loss. <laughs> <laughs> 